Welcome to the pre-class video on ionization energy, electron affinity, and ionic bonding in Lewis structures. Okay. So, if I'm an atom, my, f my favorite element, uh, lithium. That's your favorite element? No, but <laughs> it is. Okay. And, and uh, maybe you're oxygen. All right. I can be oxygen. Right? And I have this really nifty uh, water bottle. We'll pretend this is an electron. Okay, and you're lithium, so you right. have one valence electron. I have one valence electron, and we can't see all the bottle wa water bottles that Tyler has because he has a cape on. They're kind of hidden. Right, they're, they're in here somewhere. They're, they're hidden in his shield right, or something like that. Okay, well, what do you think of this water bottle? You want it? Well, yeah, I think so because um, let's look at this. Uh, oxygen is only, only needs two electrons to get to neon, right, or which is kind of the state it wants to be at, like a noble gas. So I want one of those, but I would also need one more, I think. Huh, okay. Well, here, here. There's one for me. Thanks. And let's see if there's somebody else around. <laughs> oh, there. What do you know? Two, two more electrons. Now I'm kind of like in the neon state. I'm very stable. Yep. And, right. you know, I'm, I, I don't really like that water bottle that much, you know. But you don't, you yeah. don't want it. No, no, no. But, you know, <laughs> you're still... Pretty, you know, I don't know. There's something about you that, that makes me, you know, want to kind of hang out here. Oh, is, is it because I have your water bottle and you're scared that I might run away with maybe, you? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because I, I need water, but I'm happy with him holding on to the water. Okay. Yeah? That makes sense. Okay. All right. So, shall we talk about how this is relevant now? Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> maybe okay. we should. Right? So, ionization energy is how much energy it takes for an atom an atom to give up its electron and become an ion. And so if I say uh, lithium atom gives up its electron and forms a lithium plus ion and an electron. Right. Well, I put these little symbols because it's actually only relevant in the gas phase. That reaction how much energy that takes is called the ionization energy, right? And things like lithium, they're fairly willing to give up their electrons, and so they have fairly low ionization energies. Right, because it only has to give up one to get back to this helium state here. Yep. Something over on this side of the periodic table, well, oxygen normally doesn't give up its electrons, right? No. So if this, is like, let's say this was my electron, and you tried to take that from me, no, sir. No, it would take a lot of energy to get this electron away from me. Right, so um, it would take a lot of energy, it would have a high ionization energy. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Why do things over here have a low ionization energy and things over there have a high ionization energy? Well, it's kind of like what we talked about in the last class. It's a lot easier for these guys to just give up electrons. So they have a low ionization energy because then they can just return to the noble gas. Right. And in essence, it's because these have a low effective nuclear charge. The electron just isn't that attracted to this atom. Oh. Over here, these have very high electron uh, effective nuclear charges, and so the electrons are really attracted. They're holding on really tightly. It's hard to pull those electrons off, and so right. you don't form cations from that side. Well, there's a corresponding uh, kind of the opposite thing. Electron affinity is the energy uh, that you get by giving an atom an electron. So for example, if you take a fluorine atom and add an electron to it to give a fluorine ion, the energy for that reaction is the electron affinity. And you'd expect it to have similar kinds of thing, uh, constraints. Things over here with a low Z effective, not that attracted, they're not going to really want that extra electron. Right. But things over here, with high effective nuclear charge, they really want to have extra electrons. They're really attracted to extra electrons. Right, so it's not going to take much energy to get them to take that electron. Right. Okay, well, when we form ionic materials, that's when a metal and a non-metal interact. And so if I was a lithium atom, and right. you were a fluorine yeah, atom, fluorine. make it a little sim simpler. Yeah. Well, as neutral atoms, we're not particularly attracted because really. neutral whatever, we're just going to kind of wander around. 
but I'm willing to give up my electron. And I really want that electron. And so now I have a positive charge, he has a negative charge, and we're going to be attracted. I don't want to lose track of my water. I want to be able to see it. Right. right? Well, and that's basically the formation of ionic compounds. And there's a formal way that we're going to draw this out uh, called Lewis structures. Uh, it's pretty simple, I think. Um, and so I think that's enough information. Good luck.